Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending May the 6th, 2022. It's been a challenging week to say the least. Tremendous volatility, I'm sure you guys all know that. That's been all over the news, but here's the historic aspect of this. It's been since 1976 since both the S&P 500 and the Bloomberg, Bloomberg Aggregate Bond Index have all fallen uh, in, in, in simultaneously into bear territory. It's been over 20 years, decades, since a, a precipitous move like this in, in, in large cap didn't just you know show a tremendous cash influx into bonds, into the seven and ten year bonds. Not this week. Everything continued to sell off. So bonds have speak have sold off. Almost the ten-year is almost uh, at uh, it's about 305 right now. 325 is where it should meet resistance at, and it hasn't seen that in almost four years or about four years. 2018 was the last time that the ten-year was at uh, 3.25. So uh, yields, we're talking about yields. So um, uh, everything just sold off this week. Absolutely, just everything uh, sold off. So. The only thing right now uh, th that we have uh, that is any sort of a trend upwards is essentially cash proxy, okay? And uh, and and one particular um, uh, commodities index, but uh, really uh, this week we also saw, although they suffered tremendously um, uh, yesterday and then and then Wednesday they, they had you know there was a there was a run up but uh, your total return plays are still doing better than others but even at this point that's ugly so uh, it's just a, a difficult time we've never seen this type of convergence of uh, of different events come about before where there's just no place to hide there's no place to run and hide uh, fairly interesting fairly interesting uh, that even some of the commodities are, are falling down that is probably not going to um, uh, 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 last long there's a, a number of different plays here as we bought them out to look at in terms of um, uh, commodities investing going forward usually uh, people that are retirement planning here kind of shy away from commodities because of the volatility however in this particular situation we may have to look at that just to get uh, some some return as we uh, allow the rest of the industry to settle out we're going to get some new inflation data that comes in uh, uh, early next week that should change some things but one thing you got to keep in mind is is that initially the knee-jerk reaction to uh, Chairman Powell's statements was was good. It wasn't going to be too hawkish of a, uh, you, you know, the, most of the rate hikes have been baked in. And then overnight, Wednesday, uh, going into Thursday's trade, uh, that was digested and that news turned into uh, maybe inflation is going to be around a little bit more. We don't know how soft the landing is. What if they uh, miss it? And then they have to come in hard and heavy. So, so thus you have this huge route on Thursday, and then uh, and, the, and the rest of the blog you can see you can see that story. And then on Friday uh, today, the markets uh, started off even lower, and then and then bounced uh, as they meet uh, the lower end of the of the current trading range. I'm, I'm learning to say now, uh, and, and and came back up, and, and we'll see if they drift off uh, the rest of the afternoon. If they fade into the close or if they hold into the close during midday, it was very much an indecisive, however bullish, uh, tending uh, uh, doji you know, that that we saw uh, right here uh, during during the midday on on Friday, May the sixth. So that's where we're at. What we're, the good news is? So the good news is is that there's other ways to trade this. So, the um, obviously uh, your index based uh, uh, products here are products insurance products based on indexing those are going to be doing better okay in a rising rate environment uh, for your safe money for the at-risk money there is still other places to look right now and and although we may be tying up for liquidity for a couple of months uh, uh, meaning around six months on, on a lot of these plays they're still very decent risk propositions because we're seeing uh, opportunities in gold miners 
that are, are yielding you know over 13 percent annually payable monthly and um, uh, and that still has a 30 percent barrier so if you had a lot of downside protection in these plays and there's a fairly and since the markets have come down right now those aren't going to close for a, a couple of more weeks so they won't even be valued for a couple of more weeks so those kind of plays are available we've had some previous energy plays uh, that have been paying very nicely we expect those kind of plays uh, to probably be called uh, at the end of six months but we already have a month or two under our belt on, on, on a couple of those and so I wouldn't be surprised to see the same thing with the gold miners so there's a lot of different uh, opportunities out there the very large cap you know the total return plays of uh, even the top of the Dow uh, it, they're, they're doing better than everything else right now you know the the cyclicals but um, uh, the defensive uh, that you that you go to but uh, uh, other than that, some of the, some of the uh, other uh, ETF plays right now, uh, we, there's a handful of those that are in uh, position. You know, essentially the Ukraine-Russia conflict right now are pushing those. So, a lot of opportunities available out there right now, um, and uh, there's a, a lot of opportunities to do some risk management. We suggest that you all contact us and and use the uh, risk assessment form that we have a uh, you know and update your your risk score that we uh, you have with us so that we can adjust your portfolios accordingly when we re-enter the market when we start getting indications that it's time to re uh, for re-entry all right that's it for this week as we move through next week it's got to get better there's not uh, a whole lot more downside hopefully that uh, that, that that they're going to let us uh, make us go through until then Stay happy. Studies show it's the key to longevity.